how to use Copwing video editor. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about how to use Copwing and its different features. Now, if you'd like to know more about Copwing, you could visit their website at copwing.com and you could read through the different information posted on their website over here. You can check out their different tools. As you can see, the main tool is video editor. And these are the different features available in their video editor. You could convert videos, you can make PNG, you could create subtitles, resize videos, repurpose videos, you could add text to video, create a meme generator, or you could even use their screen recorder to record from your screen and edit it directly in Copwing. There's also AI in Copwing that would allow you to create text to speech, smart cut, AI image or AI video generator, document to video, clean audio, AI image generator, and auto subtitle generator over here. There's also different templates that you could use. Now, the copying that we will be using for today's video is the free version. And there is some plans in copying. So let's check out their pricing so that we are aware on what things we are missing out on if we stick to the free version. For the free version, as you can see, we will be able to have unlimited export with the price of having a watermark on our videos. So any video that you create using Copwing will have a watermark. You could export videos up to 4 minutes long only. You won't be able to extend beyond that. You could use the auto subtitle for 10 minutes a month. So after a month, if you used up this auto subtitler, you won't be able to use this feature for another month. And you could export up to 720 quality of your video. For the pro version, as you can see here, which is $16 per month. This is built annually, but if you would like to have it built monthly only, you will have to pay $24 per month. For the pro version, there will be no watermark on your creations. You can export videos up to two hours long. You can have unlimited auto subtitling minutes. You can create 4K video quality, unlimited cloud storage, access to all AI editing tools, brand kit and custom fonts collaborative shared workspace with unlimited storage and consolidated billing over here and priority customer support. And for the enterprise, there will be more features available for you. Now, now that you know that there will be big differences between the free and the pro version, let's check out how we could use the free version of Copwing. Now, first things first, we would need to create an account. You could create an account through Google through Google or Facebook, or you can simply type in your email over here and continue with email. And now after creating your account, after logging in, you will now see this website over here. Now, this is where we will set up our account. You could use Copwalk and we could use it for work, school, or personal project. This is like a survey for them. So let's say we will be using Copwalk for, or Copwig for personal project, then what brings us to Copwing, I want to learn how to edit videos, and what kind of content do we plan to make, creating videos from scratch, and click on continue, and continue once again. And now, you can simply create a workspace also. You can type in whatever you want, choose an icon, then click on next. Then you can invite your different teammates to work with you in your Copwing workspace. And click on next. And now over here, this is another pop up for our plan and we're going to ignore that for now and here we go this is our dashboard or this is our home page of Copwing. over here on the left side you can check out your members brand kit settings folders right now we have one folder then this is our folder over here we have our shared with me different projects that are shared with us we have tools Copwing ai templates and resources over here now you will be able to notice like a sparkle besides some options over here that means this is for pro versions so we won't be able to use those versions now right away you can simply upload a video over here by clicking on upload or you could click on create new project over here which would redirect us to their editing page now there is a lot of features in copwing as you can see here on the left side you could edit the different layouts or layers add some text add some transcription add some titles videos image elements audio and transitions over here to your videos over here in the center as you can see this is our black canvas we could start with 29 by 9 which is like in landscape 
we can start with the youtube size which is 16 by 9 a profile photo or a meme one by one instagram post which is four by five and tiktok or instagram story which is nine by sixteen now let's go and have it for youtube for now click on youtube and now we will be able to create or use a layout that is specifically designed for youtube over here on the right side you could edit it once again you can resize this you could change the background you could add some canvas blur if you would like to add that you could show safe zones as you can see here maybe for youtube as you can see in order to use safe zones your canvas need to be resized to an aspect ratio of 9 by 16 you could resize that and you will be able to see like a layout over here this is for tiktok i don't know if they're having some issues ah this is for youtube shorts so that this is their layout so that you wouldn't accidentally put some important messages or important info that is going to be covered in the layout of youtube shorts it will be different for tiktok and instagram posts over here you can go with done let's go back to our youtube size and as you can see here also you could edit the fit the canvas blur and all of the stuff click on apply you could enable snap to grid over here now you could upload your media over here on the left side you can upload it by clicking this option there's also my media option over here and from google photos as well now let's upload a sample video by clicking this you could upload from projects emojis google drive or google photo or you could even paste a youtube url over here so let's try out the youtube url youtube over here now if you would like to upload your own video you can simply type in or paste it over here by dragging a file of your video into this section now over here let's see let's copy some sort of a video that we could use for example let's use a four meter stingray this this url of this video then we're going to paste our url over here there we go and then it will i think download it and there we go we have our video over here now we can simply drag it into our canvas over here already it is perfectly fit because this is the size for youtube and this is our video over here or our clip over here below now you could move your line over here to move the section you would like to view you have your speed option over here you could make it faster or slower you could make it slow motion or time lapse right now the snap is enabled so when you delete a section or a specific clip it will automatically snap the video together or you could also have a ripple mode over here now for example i would like to delete a specific clip using copying is very easy like any other editing software up there you could click on split and you will be able to split two clips you can split that again like that and if you would like to delete a specific clip you can simply select this and click on delete or backspace and it will delete your clip that you have selected and we could simply drag this over here and you could also edit some sections over here like trim crop add some filter adjust add some zoom to the video just like this you could add some corners so as you can see here you could increase the volume, you could clean the audio, detach audio, smart cut, find scenes, position, unlock or lock, or rotate the video, adjust the opacity, brightness, contrast, saturation, and blur over here. Increase the speed. You could reverse the video as well. You could add some layers or you could edit the layers if ever you have a lot of layers in one section, for example, like this. And you could adjust which clip is going to be on front by adjusting the layer over here. You can also add some effects in this section like blur background, chroma key, audio effect, animation, all of those stuff. You can also add some transitions if you would like to add those things. I think for example over here we added some sort of effect. Let's see what type of effect is that. Uh, I don't think we... Uh, there we go. We added the chroma key. We could turn it on. We could remove the background but this is for... The pro version so we could go with the blur background if you want that it will take a bit because it's going to process the video let's go with not for now you could add some transition effect timing over here as well like the trimming and you could also squeeze some frame you could also check out some plugins over here you have different plugins over here like jiffy jiffy shirt pixels pixabay help resources and all of those different features and after editing the feature, you can simply click on export project over here on the top right. 
or you could also click on this option which would show you your recent export or you could export the project over here we could export it as mp4 gif jpeg mp3 or you could also adjust the resolution over here like the compression level also like smaller file or like higher quality depending on what you would like to have and you can simply click on export as mp4 and you will be able to export a specific video that you have created and downloaded into your computer and that's it guys that is how you will be able to use capwing hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching